up, I sold my soul a good price out of sight. You might hold God talent. Your kickoff has the ability to win or lose a game. Think of all the times your games could have gone differently if only your kickoff had been a bit better. Now personally, I've probably lost about half of my 1v1 games due to a bad kickoff. So today, I'm going to quickly run you through the kickoff that the pros use and the kickoff you should start using today. To start off, I think I have put this training pack in another video before, but for those who haven't seen it, this training pack has all 5 positions you could start for a kickoff, so it's a great place to start your training. So, what exactly is this kickoff? With a straight on kickoff, you might think you want to just front flip, but there is a faster method. Just after getting the first boost pad, you want to jump and tilt your car slightly to one side. Then, immediately after, diagonal dodge forwards while boosting towards the ball. If this is done correctly, your boost should stay behind you as you collect the rest of the boost pads on your way to the ball. Your flip should end just before making contact with the ball, which gives you just enough time to dodge into the ball again, putting more power behind it. Let's just have another look at that and keep an eye on my controller. You'll see that in the middle of the flip, sometimes you'll have to make some small adjustments to get the car straightened out properly. This just comes down to practicing enough and understanding how much you need to adjust if something does go a little bit wrong during the flip. So the sideways flip you're seeing now is carried on into all the kickoffs, but there is a little variation to each one that helps you get it perfect. Now moving on to the kickoff that's just to the side a little bit. With these you want to drive just to the edge of the first boost pad and then start the diagonal dodge there. This should get you to clip the first boost pad with your diagonal dodge and then straighten up as you continue through the rest of the boost pads towards the ball. So yes, this is essentially the same thing except you want to make sure that first diagonal dodge is clipping the boost pad, not going straight over it. If you were to drive straight over the boost pad instead of clipping it, you're only going to slow yourself down. Now the corner kickoffs are a bit different. Immediately as you start the kickoff, you want to slightly angle your car towards the ball. Then you want to do another diagonal dodge, but angle the head of your car towards the ball. This causes the car not to under or oversteer and keep you straightened out to make sure all your momentum is traveling towards the ball. Your flip should end just a little bit behind the ball which gives you time to dodge into it once again. But if you're on the right side I highly recommend dodging towards the left side because your momentum will travel with you giving you more power behind the ball. Of course you do want to be aiming at the center of the ball but if you diagonally dodge towards the left your momentum is going to travel with you, giving you more power to push the ball towards the left hand side as you complete your flip. And the same does go for the right hand side. You want to start off by angling the head of your car towards the ball once again, then diagonal dodge, keeping the momentum traveling towards the ball in the center of the ball, hitting the center of the ball and dodging to the right to keep the momentum pushing the ball towards the right hand side wall. No matter how many times people tell you your kickoff goals are just luck, it really does come down to how much practice you put into it. I know I'm much stronger on one side at kickoff than I am on my other, and so I'm daily trying to improve that, and over time I have been getting a lot better, but there is definitely always room for improvement. That is everything for me today. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Uh, if there is a better kickoff you know of, or if I'm missing something out in this video, please make sure to let me know. I'm still new to these kickoff technique and I am learning it. At the moment, I just thought I'd pass on what I'm learning to you guys to see if you guys can pick it up as well. I've read countless forums about it and watched a whole lot of tutorials, so this is what I've got so far. I'm feeling pretty confident in it. I'm winning a lot of kickoffs in my 1v1 matches. So I thought I'd make a tutorial to pass on the new information I've gotten to you guys. Anyway, that's everything for me today. I'll see you next time.